This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to, people, at any time I want to. Hey everybody, another week and another Openly Hostile Opinions. As always, I'm Jay and this is Casey. Howdy ho! <laughs> it's almost fucking end of January already, holy shit, man. Yeah, man, it did What, do we got two days left? What, what, what day is it here? Well, it's, it's the 31st, yeah, we have... Holy fuck, man. Of course, it'll be January by the time you guys see this because we're lazy and slow and it takes us two days to edit a video. <laughs> Yeah, fucking editing is horrible. I fucking makes me want to kill myself, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I do it for the entertainment. <laughs> All right, before we get into our beer of the week, I want to make a quick announcement. Casey, will you pull up our lovely page? Yes, I will. Let me get it here for a second. We now have merchandise. <laughs> Look at this. Yes, all sorts of goodies. All sorts of goodies. Mm. We got T-shirts. We got uh, cell phone cases. We've got uh, we've got three different uh, designs right now. We've got our, our logo. We've got our Damn It Donald T-shirt, like we yes. discussed last week. Yeah. And then the one we talked about quite a few episodes ago, the Schlong Island <laughs> Iced Tea. That includes the recipe there, so you can uh, show everybody your uh, openly hostile opinion spirit. I wonder if that restaurant's opened up yet. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder how they're doing. How many stars is it? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't they rate it in something else, like yeah. little swimmers? Not sex. <laughs> yeah, we have everything here. We have Dan McDonald t-shirts, like we said, and everything. Dude, there's so much shit on here you can get. It's, like, ridiculous. Coffee mugs, whatever you want to get. Uh, right now, uh, right now they're running a uh, promotion between uh, January 27th and February 1st. Uh, if you put ship 17 in for the coupon code, you get free shipping. So that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's crazy. So if you wanted to check out our shirts, we're going to link it in the video and the audio description as well. But it's shop.spreadshirt.com slash openly hostile opinions. I will also put a link to that in openly hostile opinions.com so you can go check our merchandise out there. Uh, I've gotten things from Spreadshirt before. The quality is pretty darn good. So uh, yeah, check it out and get yourself some goodies. Yeah, if it's not good, we're fucking... Mm. <laughs> All I, right. With that out of the way, we'll talk about our. <laughs> what do we got today, Case? Uh, today we have a very local beer. It's uh, what, what's Mifflinburg? You think about an hour away? Ah, uh, not even. I yeah, don't think. it's from Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. I like it. Uh, because of, I th of course, we do this every time. It's because of the label. <laughs> I'm actually, it's a blonde. It's called Blue Collar Blonde. And it's by Rusty Rail Brewing Company. And um, yeah, like usual, I just buy it for that. Because blondes aren't really anything special. They're very light beer or whatever like that. I got the label here. I don't know. They say blondes have more fun. Yeah, no, fuck blondes. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought the label was cool as shit. She's all like, hey, yeah, well. I just got I just got back from you know building bobs for World War Two. I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Rosie the Riveter kind of shit going on. Yeah, there. I love it. So yeah, that's that's the label there. And like I said, it, it's from Mifflinburg. I I've never really had a bad beer from these guys. They usually make really good beer. And I heard actually, if you go to the place, they have really good food too. Uh, we have a friend that goes there all the time, and then he loves the place. So RustyRailBrewing.com. We'll give him a little plug. Yeah. What's uh? Cheers, mate. Cheers. It's a blonde. Yeah. It's not exciting, but you know what it is? It's it's definitely a it's a session beer. You can go have 10 or 20 of these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, th th This is the kind of beer that is, if you want someone to get into microbrews or craft beers, this is probably the perfect beer to do it. This is a better flavored beer than that uh, that godforsaken flat tire. Though. That shit sucked. Yeah, that I, I still don't know what that tastes like because I had fucking AIDS that day. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't taste like anything. This at least tastes a little bit like something. Yeah, it's a blonde. Yeah, it, it's a it's nothing crazy special. It it has you know. I mean, if you're if you're a hop head or something like that, you're you're yeah, gonna you want to look like elsewhere. This. But this is yeah, I'll drink it. Yeah, it, it, it's actually a woman beer to tell you the truth. 
<laughs> like I know a lot of women the, don't the, drink. The label didn't give that away. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know a lot of women don't like microbrews or even beer at all. But if you want or anybody to get them into a microbrew, I think this is probably one of the best. It's a good start. Yeah, that I've tasted in a while. Um, yeah. So I, what percentage is it? I don't think it's four point six. It's up yeah, on the top there. It's nothing. Holy fuck, man! We're not two weeks in a row. We haven't drank anything over like. Eight <laughs> percent. You know, we still What's have two wrong? bottles of that insanity. Oh, we do. We should still be in your fridge. Oh God, Casey doesn't. <laughs> Casey doesn't usually have food, so he doesn't no, see I his don't. fridge often. Because I live in the fucking middle of nowhere, and the food place is so far away, and I just don't have time. Like I'm so busy lately. I'm actually gonna try to go to the grocery store tonight because I can't deal with that anymore. <laughs> I went to Sheets last night, like, 4 in the morning. I'm like, I got to stop doing this. <laughs> Sheets is right there next to the grocery store. I know, but that, why is this isn't open at fucking 4 in the morning? <laughs> so I got, yeah, I had bratwurst, uh, a soft pretzel, and donuts, and a Cadbury egg at 4 in the morning last well, night. Well, you were going with a theme there, the bratwurst and pretzel. You kind of <laughs> had the Belgian thing going on. Yeah, and then just went straight into the Cadbury egg. I know a lot of people that don't Why like am I fat? Eggs. Why am I the fat one? I'm, I'm, dude, I got a little chunk on me, man. I can wear a bra. <laughs> <coughs> I can, you know, have a bra. I was looking through my wedding photos, man. We were all there the other day. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you and I were both a hell of a lot skinnier than we are now. Oh, yeah. Dude, once you hit 30, your fucking body's just like, I give up. <laughs> it just throws in the towel. They figure if you haven't gotten laid yet, you're not gonna. Yeah, they're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, um... Back to the beer. Like I said, it's a very, you know, blondish thing or whatever like that. Uh, if you want to get people into it, I'd say try it. Um, if I would rate it, I'd probably give it, I'd say three out of five spoiled teenagers on the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? I can't. Oh my God. I've been seeing that meme <laughs> everywhere. I can't get away. The funniest it. one, and I could not <laughs> find the video yesterday, was uh, there, there were these... Uh, there, there were these teenage kids, and they were reenacting the whole thing. And they had like, like the 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 blonde lady who's from the audience or whatever. They had like a towel over their head and shit, and they were reenacting it. It was yeah. Great. Let me see, let me see if if anyone doesn't. I don't know how you cannot know about this. Um, but if anyone for some reason last week uh, there was this thir- what was she like thirteen years she's old, thirteen year old, and yeah. she was on the Doctor Phil show, and she's just a spoiled little bitch. <laughs> she's one of those that tries. She's like. A uh, uh, middle upper middle class white chick, and she tries to pretend to be all street, yeah, like all gangster and shit like that. And um, <laughs> the first thing did the cash me outside girl commit suicide? No, she didn't. <laughs> but there is a rumor that she did get beat up. Uh, supposedly that's true. I yeah, don't supposedly that's true. I don't know because you can't see her picture or her face in it because she's getting her ass kicked. <laughs> but um, apparently someone did wait for her outside and beat the fuck out of her. Um, yeah, for you don't know, this is the meme going around right now. <laughs> like, she she says, "Cash me outside." How about that? And Doctor Phil's like, "What?" <laughs> He's like, "What did she say?" Tries to be all threatening, get up in, the, in her mom's face. And Doctor Phil's like, "Sit down." Yeah, he's like, "Sit the fuck down." So I just been seeing that meme everywhere. So if if you hear "Cast me outside," how about that? That's that's the bitch right there. <laughs> yeah, to, to think that uh, my my daughter's only. Uh, three years younger than that yeah i just yeah that's why i can't be a parent not even three whole years younger than that it's yeah. unbelievable like if my kid I, acted like that i whoop her ass yeah because i would have tricked here to sunday i would have tricked her like i would have been like oh you're turning you know 16 to three years come outside and like throw her keys and then she comes outside and i just beat the shit out of her <laughs> i'm like i cast you outside <laughs> openly hostile opinions does not advocate abuse against children that ain't abuse. That's fucking discipline. <laughs> Anybody who says that you can't whoop your own kid's ass, you... Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you wonder really? why your kid's a little shit. It's because you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> I, get, I get compliments all the time on my kid's behavior your because I whoop boot. their ass yeah, you have when to. they need it. Yeah, you have to because they're <laughs> like... That's how you learn. Just like I you got my... Learn today. <laughs> just like I got my ass beat as a kid. Yeah. Oh, this cast me outside, man. I'm I'm so ghetto today. <laughs> like you go <gonna> learn. <laughs> I said, bitch. I said, bitch. <laughs> Anybody ever see that the unforgivable videos? Oh that man, that great. that came out a while ago. I think. Uh, that was like yeah. early days of YouTube. There, yeah, it's some freaking guy in the woods. I don't know what he's tripping his balls. A B- bunch of college kid crackheads <laughs> yeah. out there, trying but to they're just filming this guy talking 
like about this story about he's with this chick and they're ordering like fast food or something like that and he's just he's going off like he's getting jealous because this girl's talking to a guy and it's actually her cousin he still gets pissed he's like i don't care <laughs> <laughs> bitch you better not have no no, <laughs> no brother yeah oh it's fucking great and then he like he just uses her for money, and he wants, like, waffle fries from her and a Dr. Pepper. Bitch, you better not have no brother. What, what, is that the original one there? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna link it up in our uh, in our accounts. What, what, what's the date say there? Uh, this is 2007, but it's it it's just a re-upload. Oh, it's just it's not the original. No, it's not the original. Still, though, 2007, though, like, that's still a fucking while ago. God, how old was I? Oh, I was much a younger, wiser kid then. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, if you know, if there's like seven, he even sells like I don't know if he still does it, but he sells like he has merchandise and shit. <laughs> I mean, this is just the funniest thing. I, I, I love how uh, he just loses it every so often. Yeah, I, I, it's it's fucking hilarious. I've only ever watched the first one. I think he sort of actually looks like Dave Chappelle in a way, doesn't he? A little bit. Like it seems like a Dave Chappelle skit or something like that. Send this update. Oh, I'm just I'm scheduling. I'm scheduling this to go out on Thursday when the video is uploaded because I am done saying that, hey, I'm going to link to this such and such a thing and then never do. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting we're getting old, Jay. We, you know, we're losing our memory. <laughs> yeah. we, we need that ginkgo biloba or whatever it's called for memory. Ginkgo biloba. Or is that for gas? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> All right. So moving right along. Okay. So. I guess we'll kick things off here. I was going to cover this last week, but we ran out of time. So I guess there's a new trend going on. I don't know if it's a new trend or what, but basically these parents, um, well, in this case, it's a man, just left his wife. (laughs) He just basically gave up and he's like, I'm sick of being a 52-year-old dad and I want to live as a six-year-old girl. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so okay wait what <laughs> yeah so is there a picture Please yeah oh t- yeah oh yeah okay it, it gets good <laughs> so this guy he's 52 like i said he has a wife and kids uh he just completely leaves them just to be a kid he wants to be a six-year-old girl uh his name's stephanie <laughs> and this is the best way how he spells it s-t-e-f what the fuck? Why is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. But I didn't click that. Why is this doing it? All right. Yeah. S-T-E-F-O-N-K-E-N-E-E. Stephanie. <laughs> Why is that a thing right now? <laughs> I don't know, dude. But yeah, here's a picture of him. <laughs> that is him. <laughs> oh, my God. That is his life now. Yeah. Okay, um, now if you, if you if you have struggled with gender dysphoria your whole life and you feel like that's the only way that you can go on and uh, you know transition to a woman, it, whatever. Uh, but um, the whole like six year old kid thing, that's when we're getting into like severely insane. And, and that's what I said. Like I see a lot of this. You should accept people's lifestyles, but it's just he ruined a family because <laughs> he wanted to be a six year old kid. Like, this is just like, you know... You can't change your age. There's no... You, it doesn't <laughs> work. I know. And it's... Yeah, like I said, he's from Canada. There's his original picture with his wife. He already looks like a woman. <laughs> like, doesn't he? A little bit. I'm just glad he's not a child luster. He has the little pedo thing going there. Like, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> my, my girlfriend called me a pedophile. I was kind of proud. That's that's an awful big word, word for a six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite pedophile jokes <laughs> <laughs> the fact uh, that you have more than one is interesting oh, enough i have so many <laughs> um uh she says she previously lived as an eight-year-old girl until the couple's granddaughter asked her to be a younger sister instead uh a year ago i was eight and she was 11 and said to me i want you to be the little sister so i'll be nine i said well i don't mind going to six i've been six ever since so I guess someone just said something to him and he just snapped. <laughs> um, oh, God, this is great. <laughs> he earns money by shoveling snow. <laughs> who, who would play that sound? <laughs> no, Sick bastard. So in the winter, Stephanie earns money by plowing snow. <laughs> and when she's at home with her adopt... Oh, my God, someone adopted her? Oh, my God. <laughs> there are uh, you can adopt this <laughs> the, the crazy has spread 
Oh my god. I <laughs> with their adopted family, they color and do kid stuff. It's called play therapy. No medication, no suicide thoughts, and I just get to play. <laughs> I had, you know how I do that. Oh, there's her and her adopted. Look at how, look how happy the mom is. You know that mom has empty nest syndrome, bad <laughs> to say the least. And she, look at that. Oh, she's so excited. She's like, I have no, you know, purpose since my kids left. And she's like, Oh man, this is great. <laughs> Let me take in a mentally ill man. <laughs> yeah, I just don't get this, man. Oh, you know, I, I never want to hear. You know what? I get I'm play fucked therapy. up from playing WoW all the time. <laughs> yeah, really. You know what? I get play therapy too. I had children. <laughs> I get to color and play Legos. I have children too. It just usually goes on the woman's face, but that's a different story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, God bless women that can take a load in the face. God have, bless you. <laughs> I haven't been using sound effects in a while. I need to get back into that. I know. I I was listening to older episodes. I was like, God, we played a lot of sound effects. Now we just like whatever. That's because we used it as a crutch because we weren't confident about it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Jay, way to way to, <laughs> way to break the illusion. Sorry, <laughs> folks, we're not as confident as we may appear. No, you just say I'm a fucking miserable piece of shit. Holy I'm God. not miserable. No, I was. Just, dark for you that was dark for you <laughs> why because i'm the eternal optimist god forbid i was a little nervous we used it as a crutch to help get through it no i just i'm, I'm happy <laughs> like that, that that blackens my soul even more i didn't realize that would be that entertaining to you oh i'd love pain and suffering speaking of loads <laughs> on the face man I, last week we were talking about how i had my uh uh consultation for my vasectomy right after the show oh that's right how'd that go by the way I figured you'd want to ask about that. Dude, my doctor is awesome. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to... Oh, excuse me. Jesus. I'm not going to... My throat's getting dry for some reason. Probably because of the fucking coal heat in here. sucks all the moisture out. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <clears throat> so, anyway. God damn it. Jesus Christ. I have cough drops. Do you get a cough drop? <laughs> no, I just need this to stop happening. I got like this weird tickle in the throat. Yeah. Anyway. Huh. So... <laughs> I'm not going to say the doctor's name and shit because, you know, I didn't ask for permission or anything. It's probably but... something Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Livingstein. Not quite, but it's definitely Jewish. <laughs> anyway, he's a tall, lanky Jewish guy, and he's got that uh, that Jewish accent, you know. And uh, do- doctor's got jokes. So I'm oh, sitting really? there, yeah, I'm sitting there talking about it, and he's, uh, you know, he starts out real professional, and then the more he talks, he's just like, He's like, yeah, you know, it'll be fine. You just have to follow everything I tell you to do. He's like, I had this guy once. He's like, I've been doing this for 30 years. I didn't have any problems until one guy, one guy I told him, no sex, no jacket, it, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. He said, now, he, he went home, and he did the deed the first night. The first night. He ended up, his balls swelled the size of basketballs. We had to take them both out. He lost both his balls. <laughs> I like how your version of a Jewish guy is Brooklyn. No, that, that's what he sounded like. That's what he sounded like. Yeah, like that that this. that Brit- that uh, Brooklyn Jewish sound. And, and then we went and played basketball for real. <laughs> you know, and he's like, he's like, it's going to be fine. He's like, we do it right here in the office. It's going to take 10, 15 minutes tops. You know, everything's fine down there. You 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 got everything. You got all your stuff. I'm like, do people not? He goes, you'd be surprised. <laughs> He's like, so we're going to do it right here in the office, 10, 15 minutes, and you go, I'll go home, three days, freeze your balls. <laughs> and he's like, then I got to go to the newspaper stand, <laughs> buy a pack of smoke so I can catch the subway back to Jersey on time. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you got to freeze your balls. <laughs> like, you keep your balls on ice, you're fine. All so right. you have to put ice on your balls. Three days. Oh, keep my bi- God, uh, man. Keep ice on them pretty much. I'm not allowed to. He's like, three days, don't do shit. And no sex for a week. Two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Jesus, how are you going to survive, man? I'm married. It's already like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not really. I do all right, but... Yeah. Yeah, he, he said, three days, don't do shit. <laughs> I, I swear to you, it sounded exactly like that. Three days, don't do shit. Seven so, days, don't lift nothing. <laughs> so when do you go in under the knife? Uh, March 3rd. Do they put go... you under? No. Why would they go... I don't know. Pr- probably give you I've a never little... had a bisectomy before, Jay. <laughs> I use condoms. <laughs> yeah, and I, I have to right now, too, and fuck those things. Oh, I don't mind. I'd rather use a condom than 18 That's because you never had support. sex without a condom. I have a couple times. <laughs> All right, and I am surprised that I don't have any kids yet. 
<laughs> There's probably some ugly little gangly fuckers out there. There has to be airlines. another one. There has to be another one of me out there. But I've been pretty good with the you know drunken one night stand thing. That I'm in like a fucking walking coma and I still get a condom on somehow because that's how scared I am to have kids. I do not want kids right now. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I ain't blowing it in some hoe. <laughs> Cast me outside about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got a good story for us this week. What would that be? A man robs a Kansas bag to escape his wife. <laughs> I've been saying it. I've been saying it. Women are crazy. <laughs> yeah, seventy-year-old man breaks into a into a bank. You know, stop, and uh, he, he he did the whole like note thing, ask for money. Uh, he got three thousand dollars, and he just in the lobby sat down, took a seat, waited for the guard. And when the guard came over, he was like, "Yeah, I'm the guy you're looking for." <laughs> That's me if I ever get married. Right? He, 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 <laughs> I he, give up. <laughs> he planned it. He his name he planned Mi- it. <laughs> his name is Mister Ripple, and <laughs> he picked a bank with a police station close to it. So he had an argument with his wife earlier that day. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'd rather be in prison. Oh, my God, man. Like, how hey. bad is it got to be? I fight with my wife occasionally, too, but I don't ever think, you know what? Possibility of dropping the soap and getting raped is not not that bad right hey, now. Well, uh, women are crazy. <laughs> women are fucking nuts. <laughs> this coming from you is something. Ah, dude, you know my sex life. You know how it is. Getting fucking raped in bathrooms while I'm puking. The fuck is wrong with women? <laughs> the fuck is I don't know wrong how you do it. I don't know how you pull these chicks, man. You I, like- don't, I don't know. Like like I said, I was just telling Jay before uh <laughs> before the show how I do a trivia game As on Monday. Mentioned. Yeah. Some fucking <laughs> girl on a team left her phone number on my thing. And it was her real number. And I'm like, I could be a child molester. You don't even know me. <laughs> the child molester lives up the street. Yeah, but I played it off cool. I my friend was there, and I was like, I was like, dude, I told you, you know, a couple times, I'm not calling you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck you. <clears throat> now I'm coughing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Whatever. Fucking uh, dude, I just feel the pain that guy must be going through to want to go to prison and set a deal with his wife. Like seventy, what would you say? He was seventy That's years old. <laughs> he was seventy. Yeah. yeah. So who knows how long they were married? He was just probably fucking sick of it. Because, <laughs> because I don't know. Like old people, just in general, get <laughs> naggy when they're older. Uh, men just bitch like they always like. Oh, 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 oh. Women just fucking give it the to damn you. Damn kids and yeah, and yeah. fucking you know. Make sure the doors closed. Like older women are just fucking insane. <laughs> Those damn kids. Yeah, like the are... guy just goes out and like fucking starts mowing the lawn or something like that to get his. But the fucking woman just nags you. <laughs> so I could see myself doing. Yeah, we're not stereotyping here, at all, are we? <laughs> oh, people know I hate women. Whatever. <laughs> if that isn't obvious to you by episode what we're on nineteen, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know why don't you just like go on and play for the other team? No, I ain't gay. <laughs> Enough women see this show, and you're never going to get laid again. Oh, no, I, they're still leaving me numbers. <laughs> still leaving me numbers. Well, there's no accounting for taste, I guess. No, like today, it's it's good to be like a badass, I guess. I don't fucking oh, know. Oh, you're a badass. I, I'm, I treat women like shit, and they just flock to me. <laughs> like, no, Which no, one no. of us is married? No, Charles Manson just got married. What? Hey, hey, people are going to jail over marriage, so I don't want to hear marriage is this good thing. It's fine, <laughs> fine for me. Not for me. <laughs> it's it's like college. Not everyone should go. Not everyone should get married. I've accepted that, <laughs> and I'm not putting this pain on someone else. But do you remember Be the Boston- single ladies? Yeah, yeah, I am. Believe it or not, but the Boston bombings. You remember that with the pressure cookers and shit? Yeah. Well, they ended up killing one. The other one they took to jail. This guy is getting so much pussy. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Like Twitter, I remember when this happened, they posted his picture of him and everything like that, and Twitter just went insane. They started fan clubs for this guy, posting all this stuff. He's too cute to be a killer from anywhere to I don't care if he killed anyone, I'd still do him. <laughs> Women love badasses. Murderer that, lives matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what I was trying. I was saying I'm a badass. 
I am an Azeroth. <laughs> Level 110 mage. But... <laughs> Who cares? See, this is me when I got some sleep last night. I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the show a little bit later today, and I'm just fully awake. <laughs> I'm like balls to the wall right now. <laughs> I think we like it better when you're half asleep. <laughs> yeah, I know, because I'm fucking... Hey! No, I think it's the Cadbury egg. There's a lot of sugar in those. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Going crazy! <sighs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with my woman hate speech today. <laughs> I do I do bash on women a lot. I know. I know I do. It's You're a, terrible. I know. It's a bad thing. So we'll move right along. So, you know, I don't, you know, have feminine Nazis coming at my door. <laughs> when they beat your ass, uh, when they come here to whoop your ass, I'm not stopping. They probably could because nothing empowers a woman like looking like a dude. But that's another story. <laughs> I have flannel shirts you can borrow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's talk about our favorite organization, PETA. Oh, yes. <laughs> They're after video games again. <laughs> what now? So for anybody, uh, Warhammer, you know what Warhammer is. It's been around. It's a series of like games. Desktop games. Desktop games, and it turned into video games. And it's just been an online thing. Well, PETA is all up in arms right now because they found out that the Doom or the Warhammer characters are wearing fur. <laughs> Fictional characters are wearing fur, and PETA ain't having it. <laughs> PETA wants Warhammer characters to stop wearing furs now. Now. <laughs> this is how brutal of a situation this is. They want it now. But, like I said, this isn't the first time this has happened. They went after Pokemon. Um, they went after Mama Cooking. You remember that Wii game? Do you uh, no. It was a Wii game where you cooked. And stuff, they were pissed because you were cutting up animals. Well, hell, it. they were mad that Mario wears fur suits. <laughs> um, they were Mario, after... they, 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 it was like two years ago, and they were going after Mario 3. <laughs> it came out when I was like a kid. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they also went after Minecraft Farming Simulator. <laughs> hey, speaking of Mario 3, do you remember that um, that awful movie that served as an, entire, an advertisement for Super Mario 3, The Wizard? No, I don't think I've ever seen that. No, no, when Fred, you said movie, I thought you meant the, like the real movie or whatever like that. That well, was no, god awful. Oh, that was terrible too. <laughs> but no, it, Fred though. Fred Savage uh, was a character, and his little brother was the wizard. He was a video game freak, and uh, uh, they went across the country. I can't even remember why. It was Fred Savage played the kid, and then there was a um, God. What the hell is his name? Played the older brother. This was this a commercial? No, it just it was like a basically a, a two hour Super Mario three commercial because like they had to go to the, this great uh, competition at the end of it, oh and it God. was the new game nobody's ever seen before. And it was Super Mario Brothers three. So <laughs> of course this was sponsored by Nintendo. <laughs> is that is that your favorite Mario Brothers? You think three? Did you tell uh, me? That? Absolutely, it's it's by far my favorite one. It was really fun. It's just called Wizard, the Wizard. So was this it came out in nineteen eighty nine? So in the movie was was uh, Mario Mario Brothers three out yet? No, it was. So it that's was, why that it was, was introduced deal. by that. Uh, yeah, Bo Bro- Bridges plays their father, and Christian Slater was the older older brother. Christian Slater was it? Man, I haven't seen anything he's done since like Hard Rain. <laughs> do you remember love, that movie? Yeah, <laughs> I love Christian Slater. I know, I do too. I don't know why he doesn't play in anything. He was great in Interview with the Vampire. Oh yeah, that's a great fucking movie. Um. Yeah, I don't think he does anything more. Like, does he do TV shows or anything? I haven't seen Christian Slater in fucking, I don't know. He was on an episode of My Name is Earl a while back. Oh, really? Yeah, he played a stoner. Shocking. <laughs> he played a stoner that uh, Earl robbed blind. Oh, my God. Because he was so high, <laughs> Earl and Randy would pretend to hang out with him and just steal shit. Have you, have you ever heard of Hard Rain, the movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did that as a quizzo question one time, and everyone's like, what's that? And I'm like, <gasps> you don't know Hard Rain. Well, sometimes your quizzo questions, I could just smack you. Not everyone. That's why I tell people. Everyone's like, how am I supposed to know that? I'm like, that's why you're supposed to bring the movie guy, the music guy, the geography guy, the history guy, but no one listens to me. <laughs> I, like, give everyone the hint that it's all going to be mixed. I even get you what the categories is. Category. <laughs> Category. I think my team does fairly well because we do have that exact group Exactly. Of like Kevin. Oh, I said his name, whatever. Fuck mm-hmm. you, Kevin. <laughs> he didn't say his last name. Yeah. Kevin's good at geography and some of the scientific shit. Yeah, and then you got music, you got movies, 
Uh, Ron's really good at the sports and shit like uh, that. He's fairly good with movies and TV too. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like I tell people, I'm like, get the, you know, you got to get like a group of people going here, and then the, this one team has two people, and they bet you they lose. I'm like, <laughs> Ron. Actually, Ron's pretty damn good at history questions too. Yeah, he does like history. He likes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But I mean, we've got all these people. We've got uh, we've got uh, Wingnut. If you're out there, uh, who who knows. <laughs> Who knows just like this obscure artsy fartsy bullshit that yeah. none of us would know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to have the, you know. And then we got Sue, whose who's range of knowledge is incredibly strange. Yeah. Or like she likes to call herself Sue Buttermaker or something. She told me. I goes, I go, Sue, are we allowed to say your name on the show? She goes, she goes, yeah, I don't care. But can I have like an alias? I'm like, yeah, sure. And she told me something. Oh, like, she's got an alias. All right. It's Apple Dumpling. <laughs> No. Hi, Apple Dumpling. <laughs> no, she said, like, I forget what it was, like, Anastasia Buttermaker or Horsenhausen or something. I Whatever. I, I can't remember. What her it. nickname's Apple Dumpling, and I'll yeah. tell you why. Her uh, <laughs> her husband says to her, hey, you know what? I'm in the mood for uh, for Apple Dumplings. And uh, she, she goes out of her way and makes these Apple Dumplings, and she learns how to make them. She, she does it. And then they sit in a fridge for, like, a week. And then uh, her husband says to her, I, I know they're not as good as your mom, so he didn't even try them. So she gets pissed and threw them all in the trash. What? Are you fucking kidding me? So she got pissed and just threw them all in the trash. Why would you do that? Apparently, he doesn't like having sex. <laughs> what? How did we get to that? How did we get from apple dumplings to sex? I am so confused. Well, that's why I've been calling her Apple Dumpling lately because uh, yeah, she just ch- chucked those Apple Dumplings. I- I'm surprised she didn't throw them at him. That's what I would have done because that's some sticky shit, man. I would have dumped it all over him. <laughs> like, I know how I feel. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> if we know your dirty laundry, it might go on air. We're not going to say your last yeah. name, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> People sorry, are going to stop talking to us now. <laughs> Nah, it's fine. Whatever. No one talks to me anyways. Except in Azeroth. Everybody. <laughs> Bullshit. You're a bartender. Everybody I talks know. to you whether I you know. like it or not. I know. And I think that's why I'm going, you know, slowly insane. <laughs> oh, sure. That's the reason. Because I, hey, it happened to Harley Quinn. She was she was normal and she heard everyone's problems. She went nuts. <laughs> and that's, it's like, and that's what it is. Since I'm a bartender, I'm like a therapist, dude. <laughs> it, 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 gets, it gets a little, you know. I've I've heard some shit. Nah. <laughs> uh, it kills me inside. <laughs> but Wor- moving right along. <laughs> Worst we have to worry about is the neighbor who thinks the government's going to steal his soul. You know, <laughs> yeah. that fucking guy. Yeah, we're going to try to get him on the show at some point. <laughs> yeah, his name's Todd Bob. We got to get him on. Yeah, but we're not sure if he's willing to come on camera because he's afraid of the government. We like steal his soul from the camera. We we almost got him convinced to make a phone call. So, yeah, so we'll keep working on him. Yeah, we're we're gonna and then uh, I want to get a homeless person on the show, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Do you really want to bring him into your house? I know, and that's the thing. I don't want him to know where I live because I was talking to Jay. I was like, it'd be awesome to have a homeless person on the show, but no, we'd have we have to go on a <laughs> we we'd have to go on an excursion. I know we'd have to do it. Like I'd have to blindfold him, like they do in the mafia. <laughs> I was talking about we'd go on a on location. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of fun stuff. Like we were talking about it. I know a friend that owns a lot of guns, and we'd like to go out and just shoot them and film it. But we we don't know yet. We're we're still thinking up stuff. <laughs> we gotta come up with cool stuff to shoot though. I know. I have some tannerite left. Tannerite oh, is fucking awesome. <laughs> I can't believe it's legal. <laughs> it's it's fucking awesome. Yeah. There's other there's other stuff we want to do. Everything about. fun's illegal. I know. What the fuck, man? They're gonna start making sex illegal. Ugh. Well, depending what kind you have, some places it is. Yeah, that's true. No. If you're into the sodomy, some places <laughs> do have that on the books. You're not allowed to uh, fuck a fuck a person in the butt. Yeah. When, when are you having your vasectomy again? March third. March third. The countdown. <laughs> Unless I get scared and run off. That's what you should do on our website. Since it's not finished yet, just put Jay's vasectomy countdown. <laughs> you go there, and it's just a big timer, and just put the end is near. <laughs> Anyway, OpenlyHostileOpinions.com is our website. I promised to be working on it last week, and I lied. Yeah. So I'm going to try to work on it this week. Actually, hey, man, we do all this shit ourselves. I know, right? and it's pretty difficult. Actually, when you get your vasectomy, 
uh, you should ask if you can listen to music, and they should play because it cuts like a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do, but whatever. Okay, can they reverse vasectomies? Uh, they can attempt to. Can it doesn't to. always work. So it's basically they just cut your tubes, basically. What they do is they open up your scrot, pull, oh, great. pull out the vas deferens, mm-hmm. and then they take a chunk out and sew off both ends. They take the chunk out to prevent it from possibly going back, or growing back together. So because basically, to. you're going to have like wires down there that have electrical tape on the ends of them. Essentially, yes. <laughs> like, you know, how when someone's like, I am not doing that today, and they just put fucking electrical tape on it and let it hang there. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Oh, that's weird. You're going to have, like, dangly things. Well, it's better than uh, it's having like more children. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be fucking poking around down there. I know, there. but I just feel like like when you're walking around, like you're going to feel like just moving. Like, eh, nah. Do you really <laughs> notice your scrotum? Yes, I do. It sticks to my leg a lot. <laughs> Look, besides barring that. In Especially fact, I, when it's hot and sweaty out. <laughs> yeah. In fact, bar, uh, that, that was one of the questions I actually uh, asked the doctor. I said, so how long before I'm back to normal? Mm-hmm. And he says, uh, you know, you just sitting here today, you're not really thinking about your scrotum. And I said, uh, as a matter of fact, I am because we're talking about it. <laughs> he said, well, any other given day, you wouldn't be thinking about your scrotum. He said, but... Uh, uh, when, when you have this done, he's like, when I had mine done, it took me about a month before I forgot it was there again. Did he do his own? No, I don't believe. You ask him. I, <laughs> I can't imagine. There are some things you don't do yourself, and, and doctors don't, doctors won't prescribe themselves drugs and do shit like yeah. that because of ethics reasons, so, huh. which I learned from watching House. <laughs> I love that show. Actually, I, 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 I loved thought, it, I, that I, show. I, I should watch that show. I think I'd like it because the first few seasons are great, and then towards the end, it's like, it, it just gets really ridiculous. It's like this fucking love triangle, and it's like will <sighs> will he or won't Hunger he? Games? With... <laughs> no, it's like the 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 director of the medicine is is her name's Cuddy, and like House is in love with her, and she's in love with him. But there's always this sexual tension. Of course, they end up together in the end because the writers ran out of shit to do. And God, yeah. how do you fucking hump a dump that with leg problems, man? <laughs> yeah, the, I, I don't know. She I mean, rode that dick. I mean, the series did jump the shark, but the first few seasons are great. Yeah. I, I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I just don't have any fucking time to watch anything. Speaking of shit that's great, we might as well do a Things We Love segment here. I'll tell you about another uh, another great show that uh, if you get a chance to catch up on, I am just in love with its frequency. It's based on a movie, and what it is is this. Oh, is that the one where the guy meets his dad through the radio? Well, it's a it's a woman, yeah. Well, radio! The, the movie is a guy. But... <laughs> you remember that movie? Yeah. <laughs> radio! Well, frequent, frequency, uh, the, there's this uh, lady police officer named Ramey, and she's trying to catch and stop this uh, serial killer called the Nightingale Killer. And um, her dad died a long time ago, back in the 90s, and uh, she somehow can communicate with him through a ham radio it got God, struck by lightning old. yeah back in the 90s i know I watch, <laughs> I watch it in these older segments are all shit that i remember my childhood but anyway uh so so this uh ham <laughs> oops oops jay <laughs> well this ham radio uh gets struck by lightning and she's able to communicate with her dad and prevents his death but because in doing that it changes the future and then her mother ends up becoming a victim of the nightingale killer so this whole series is like every Oops. everything, <laughs> yeah, everything that they do, the metal in the past fucks up the future in some way. Yeah. So they're they're both simultaneously trying to get this Nightingale Killer guy from the past and the present and try to stop uh, her father Frank from dying and her mother. What from network dying. is this on? CW. Oh, CW's sorry. been making some great shit. Lately. Yeah, like I I didn't think I'd like High Zombie. Oh, that's cool and it, and it took me a couple because I was just watching Vikings and stuff like that. And Vikings was really cool, so it was it was hard to get that mindset of. But once I did, I thought it was a great show, and actually, I was like, "This is on the CW." Like, actually, another good show right now is uh, Timeless, another time travel show. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, the the this group of uh, people has to go back in time to stop this like time terrorist who keeps uh, changing history. He goes back in time, and it turns out there's this huge conspiracy and this secret society that's going on, and uh, they have been in control of everything, and the secret society ha- affected the the terrorist in a personal way, 
and he's coming to dismantle it all. I don't want to give away too much in case you haven't seen the show. God, that sounds like real life. It's uh <laughs> it's a really great show. They got a historian, they've got a soldier, and they've got a nerd who can pilot the machine to go back in time. Huh. It's called Timeless. I'm not sure which channel that's on because sounds I like recorded a song. But... Timeless. <laughs> if I could turn back time. <laughs> That was a quizzo question. With my duct tape suit. <laughs> yeah, I had that as a question. Oh, question. my dick got so hard watching that shit back in the day. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can find that. Yeah, because Cher oh. back in the day. I have spilled so much semen into that fucking video. <laughs> and she uh, she did this. Uh, yeah, it was called Turn Back Time. And um, she did oh, it on, like, this fucking battleship. Fuck that. Just talk about the outfit. <laughs> this fishnet thing with, like, electrical tape. Uh, let's see if we can find a picture here. Yeah, she just slotted the fuck out. Like, oh, yeah. Bad. <laughs> and she does right. not give a fuck. And she's, like, on this huge battleship. I mean, she's, ship. like, 70 in this picture. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's she's god-awful. But it's just, like, this... When when this like eighties? No something? no no. Take that. Show the one without the without the jacket on. She, she <laughs> without the, the jacket. Yeah, she loses the jacket. Is that a good one? Yeah, that's uh, a good one. she's like a. Gosh, she does look old. <laughs> she looks so old. Yeah, well, there's so much plastic surgery going on there. Ugh. Uh, I spilled so much semen to that. <laughs> then for some reason, I had a huge thing for Cindy Lauper back in the day. Cindy Lauper. Nowadays, not so much, but I, th- I think it was the like goofy hair colors. Yeah, probably because I was I don't know. And 80? Tiffany, yeah, Tiffany. I mean, yeah, you guys will talk. Yeah, like they're sitting her on a. Uh, yeah, she was slutting it up. Oh, yeah, she was... <laughs> those are those sailor boys. Yeah. <sighs> what do you got next for us, Jay? Yeah, so this one's gonna make you laugh. Apparently, Ronda Rousey, uh, she makes people sign uh, sign agreements that they will not hit her <laughs> during training. Yeah, you know why. Because, because the last couple of fights, movies. she gets her ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right? Like, she gets enough hits in already. She doesn't need it anymore. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. You know what? I'm starting to realize after seeing it. Like, I was a big Rousey fan. Yeah, I said it. But uh, I'd do her. I, I really <laughs> and she don't. plays World of Warcraft. So I'd Really, I don't think she's that attractive. No, she's with. not. But I just I want to do her. <laughs> but anyway, she... Uh, I thought she was such a badass, and the more I'm starting to realize it, I'm a big MMA fan and a big uh, like Muay. I actually prefer Muay Thai to MMA, but anyway, how dare you? <laughs> well, how I lo- dare you like MMA? <laughs> I <laughs> don't like- respect the arts. <laughs> yeah, I like boxing. I like those fighting sports. What can I say? I'm a big <laughs> boxing fan. Anyway, so uh, uh, I'm starting to realize that she really didn't have a lot of technical ability. She was able to get people down and kick the shit out of them quickly. But when it comes to a straight up uh, boxing match and things like that, if it mm-hmm. came to using legs or or really anything that involved yeah, technicality, she got her ass kicked. Yeah, she's not technical at all. Yeah, like she worked on explosiveness. She she did a lot in the same way as. Uh, <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> Sorry, we're having <coughs> problems today. <coughs> Wrong pipe. Wrong pipe. <coughs> <coughs> I thought I was going to die there. Sorry. I am sorry to you, folks. <laughs> we, we are just a ball of noises today. But anyway, yeah. Oh, sorry. She, she reminds me a lot of uh, 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 Mike Tyson. You know, he came out of the gates and was just explosive. Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd beat the shit out of you and he'd beat the shit out of you fast. Yeah. But if you were better than him and more technical and could keep him away and wear him out like a Vander Holyfield, he'd bite your ear he'd off. He'd bite your ear off. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd lose. Yeah. You know, it, I, it's just a matter of technicality. That's just so much of a difference between, like Amanda Nunes, uh, she she just dominated over Rousey. It was seconds. Yeah. If you haven't seen the fight, I'm sure somebody probably has it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, piracy. Uh, you can probably find it. I mean, it was literally seconds, and and they had to stop the fight because they broke her nose. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, no wonder she doesn't want to get in practice because in fights she gets her ass fucking kicked. Well, she's trying. <laughs> she's trying to have a movie career, but you know what? Let's face facts. That bitch can't act. Yeah, the new Expendables pissed me off. One because they fucking PG thirteen. Yeah, they really pushed it out. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That is the whole point of the first I two movies it. that it was violent. <laughs> I love those movies just because uh, they're. I love eighties action movies. I grew I know. up watching them on I TV. Do, I do too. Like Cobra. I even love Rambo Crimes 3. Crimes disease and I'm the cure. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking, fucking, fucking cult member, guys. Fucking, oh, man, such a good fucking movie. And then I was like, what is this shit? And then she's in it. And thank God she's like has some body karate. Cause <laughs> and, yeah, between her and Randy Couture, they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're just 
competing every, to see who's worst. Yeah, every line she has in that movie is just god awful. <laughs> and I'm just like, Geez. I mean, when, when you're surrounded by legends like fucking Stallone and, and and Mel Gibson was the bad guy in that one, right? Yeah, yeah, the third one. Well, yeah, that's yeah. because uh, what's his face? Oh my god, why can't I not remember this? Die Hard is my favorite movie in the world. Bruce Willis. Thank you, because <laughs> Bruce was. I I'm terrible at recalling facts quickly. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Willis, for example, uh, is is notoriously difficult to work for, work with, and he had so wanted so much money for this movie, so they replaced him. But anyway, yeah. Uh, but when when you're surrounded by legends like Bruce Willis and and Stallone and and for God's sake, Dolph fucking Lundgren, <laughs> you know. You gotta bring your A game, and if you don't, you're just gonna get passed up. Yeah, I, she was god awful in that fucking she movie. She was awful. Yeah, I just whatever. <laughs> don't don't act. Yo, Dolph Lundgren. Speaking of Dolph Lundgren, man, do you know that uh, even though he seems sort of stupid in those movies because of his character, mm. uh, Dolph Lundgren himself is actually has uh, it's either a master's or a doctorate in chemical engineering. Yeah, that's why I think it's the first. Or se- I can't really remember. It's not the third one, but in the first or second one, they actually give him like a little. I don't know dedication to his degree. Like I guess he's a genius. Oh, he's absolutely a genius. Yeah. Like the one part where they're tra- they're trapped in the mine and he's trying to build like a bomb out of like chemical compounds and shit like that. That was like a little like dedication to him having like a huge degree in like chem and chemical engineering or something like that. There's actually a lot of really uh, surprising uh geniuses in hollywood uh, and and famous people and like hidden talents and stuff like yeah. um this is a guy that plays wolverine hugh jackman hugh jackman that yeah. motherfucker can sing fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah like i saw i saw him sing and i was like wolverine so, <laughs> so can mike rowe by the way he's not he was a former yeah, opera singer a lot of these like actors that you just see and, and you wouldn't think they could sing but a lot of it, it makes sense because a lot of them started from broadway and shit but, like, Hugh Jackman, dude, that guy's got some pipes. <laughs> mother- you know what bothers me? Uh, Getting a visectomy in a couple months? No. <laughs> no, I'm okay God, with that. That would bother me. <laughs> yeah. uh, speaking of people who have pipes, uh, I only know this because I have little kids in the house, but uh, there was a show called Victorious, mm-hmm. okay, on Nickelodeon, and uh, it, Victoria Justice was the the main character, and she was a singer in it, and she wasn't that good. And uh, th- there were two people, one you probably recognize from the pop charts, Ariana Grande, Ugh. and then there was... Uh, Sounds like something you order from Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was Elizabeth Gillies, uh, who... Ariana Grande right now is a pop star, and Liz Gillies still just works on a, a TV show called Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. Oh, great. Which is great. It's Den- uh, Dennis Leary plays a washed-up uh, ex-rock and roll guy. So he plays and, himself. He, <laughs> sort of. And uh, his daughter is is played by Liz Gillies. But, my God, that, that girl could outsing the entire cast. I know. Everyone with talent. Is... She, she was an amazing singer, and she she's on a show, and it's another show where she gets to sing. But the fact that she's not the pop star right now is just a crime. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised that Adele got popular. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. People are liking someone for their talent. Like, is this real life? Like, what's going on? <laughs> now, there, there's some really smart-ass celebrities here. Like, for example, uh, uh, James Franco has an IQ of 130. Conan O'Brien has 160. Uh, Lisa Kudrow, uh, mm-hmm. she's a 154. Uh, David Duchovny's 147. Natalie Portman's 140. Uh I do not know how to sp- pronounce her name, but the chick who played Blossom and currently plays uh, plays mm-hmm. Amy Farrah Fowler. Yeah, she actually went for physics. It's Maya Balik. She's she's a, a neurobiologist. And, yeah, uh, she went for a bunch of scientific bullshit and all that stuff. She's actually really, yeah, she's really smart. Yeah, she has somewhere around one sixty. Nicole Kidman's one thirty two. Steve Martin's one forty two. Shakira of all people's one hundred and forty. Shakira, Shakira. Uh, Kesha has got a really high one. I forget what hers is. Matt Damon. <laughs> Uh, and here's one that shocked me when I heard it because I saw this. Article. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Arnie. Arnie's between 132 and 135. He's got a genius level IQ. Uh, Gina Davis. Boy, I would have done her back in the day. Uh, she she's oddly hot. Yeah, she is. Uh, she is oddly hot. I'd like to spank her. Yeah. <laughs> her, who's that? Go back up. Why does she look familiar? Ashley Ricard. Uh, awkward. She's from the show. Awkward. Anyway, she's a Mensa member. Yeah, she looks uh, so fucking familiar for some reason. I don't know Kesha's IQ number, but hers is really yeah, high, too. Yeah, I heard that about her, yeah. I love Conan O'Brien, though. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he was 160. Yeah. And uh, I, if I recall correctly, I think uh, 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 
Oh my God! Why can't Stephen Hawking? I think is one sixty. Really? <laughs> but you still can't walk. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the 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 smartest man that anybody knows. Uh, yeah, Stephen Hawking's one hundred and sixty two. Huh. That's crazy. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. One sixty. And Albert Einstein was one sixty. Yeah. So these actors are at least in ability to learn wise as smart as Stephen Hawking. Some of them huh. are. Yeah, Conan O'Brien is as smart as Stephen Hawking. I, I never took an IQ test at all, so I have no idea that what number is what. But that makes sense. If Albert Einstein was one fucking sixty, you're doing all right. Like you know. <laughs> yeah. Conan O'Brien is one sixty. I love Conan. I think he's fucking hilarious. That yeah. one. That one skit where he goes on like a Uber ride with like Ice Cube and uh, what's his name, the midget guy. <laughs> Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, I, was say, I thought we were like a Vern Troyer. Oh, no. it's. Uh, have you seen it? Mm-mm. He gets an Uber with them, and they like make pit stops to like grocery stores and get 40s. And they're like drinking 40s and, and like smoking weed and shit. It is hilarious. And Conan tries to get like gangster, and he can't. It's so funny. <laughs> so it was basically the basis for uh, Get Hard. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. That was but a he, great movie, too. And I hate Will Ferrell, but that was funny. I'm surprised you just you know sort of complimented him <laughs> that movie was fucking hilarious i know when he gets the hat when the, when that group of like gang members accept him and they call him mayo <laughs> like he's wearing a hat this what up mayo, mayo? Yeah, that <laughs> mayo that was pretty fucking funny <laughs> i hate him in general but uh, yeah especially that bewitched movie yeah i've never seen that never seen that don't waste your time it's yeah. terrible um, well, I got one last thing here to cover. I don't know how much stuff you got, but I just thought this was funny. <laughs> this cop is a badass. <laughs> okay, cool. So this this person, this kid, has cancer, basically. Okay. Um, it was. I don't think it was, I was trying to read it. It wasn't a Make a Wish Foundation or anything like that. It was just on his bucket list of things to do. Um, he wanted to tase somebody. Okay. So this cop let this kid with cancer tase him. <laughs> oh good yeah ohio teen zaps cop with stun gun to fulfill bucket list wish uh, <laughs> it was in ohio uh he the kid yeah the kid has leukemia oh good uh, yeah and i i love i love abc news here <laughs> like the patient crossed off a bucket list item that was seriously shocking <laughs> like the Did kid you... has cancer and he just <laughs> yeah like really you had to throw that in there like you know, gotta shoot. get that clickbait, dog. Yeah, like, are you a loss for hair? I mean, words. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it took you a second. <laughs> I got it. I just didn't want to admit to it. I just made that up. That was that was horrible. I need to go to church. <laughs> Take uh, me to church out. Oh my god! Fucking. Oh, John that's Legend. a great song. I love that. He's song. a great that singer and shit, but I've heard it too much. Yeah. Um. Actually, it was a girl, I guess, Alyssa. Uh, she described the experience as awesome. I'm very, gr- very grateful that people would put themselves out there to allow me to allow me do that to them. Uh, she made it was on her ba- bucket list on Jerry after she got leukemia. Uh, she decided not to go undergo further treatment. Means she'd like to have just a few months to live. So she wanted to taste something. That's a cool fucking kid. Like I want a kid like that, not dying. But <laughs> <laughs> oh man, going to hell. Actually, we're already there. <laughs> nah, I'll tell you what though. I'm gonna end up going to hell because I think they ought to televise Special Olympics boxing. Yeah, I know. And like I said, like we're are all the parking spots handicap? <laughs> like where do you park? <laughs> where do the normal people park? <laughs> the normal people. We are just offending everybody. Yeah. We are just gonna make it our mission to offend everybody. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's... Hell, I like you. You can come <laughs> over to my house and fuck my sister. Hey, it's, it's, that's like I'm saying. It's hopefully hostile opinions. We're going to be dicks. <laughs> and, yeah, and actually cough a lot because we're very unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, I've been meaning for months now to make uh, make little interrupt switches for our feet so that when we cough, you won't hear it. Yeah. But I'm lazy, and mm-hmm. I haven't done it. Mm-hmm. And I'm not really mm-hmm. sure where the parts are. <laughs> and they make stuff, but they're expensive. Well, I'm pretty good with a soldering iron, so I can absolutely make one, but I just... Hey, you burned it. your face off with a soldering iron. <laughs> Joe Dirt, love the movie. Do it again, I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. That second one was garbage. I know, I could watch it. I turned it off. I, I, I got it, like 20 minutes of noon. I was like, this is shit. Well, what I don't like about it is, uh, now this coming from us is something, but I hate how he just says fuck a lot in it. Joe Dirt doesn't swear. 
That's not who Joe Dirt is. I know. He, he He's a sweet little man yeah. child. Life's a garden, dig it. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Dirt doesn't swear. I was actually offended by that. I found it <laughs> I found that to be a problem. He wasn't the character that I knew. Yeah, I I didn't like it at all. And it was like time traveling and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I just, I don't know, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. But that's what you do these days. Something's popular, you slap a label on it, you don't care about it, and it just makes money. (laughs) Oh, yeah. But actually, that reminds me. We were talking, you know, weeks ago about, you know, how the Batman movie, the new one coming out, is, you know, they were complaining about it, that there was fillers, and the one executive said, I don't care, because we're going to make so much money off of it in, like, foreign countries. They leaked a clip, I guess, of a fight scene in it, and it fucking gave me a rager. <laughs> yeah, but the fight scene doesn't make it a decent movie. Oh, it does for me. <laughs> I love violence. I love it. I just, I, I love. I want my movies to be rated R. I want, I want adult movies. I want movies for adults. And I just, I. They have adult movies in that back section of Blockbuster. Yeah, have but to go through the curtain. Yeah, lackluster. <laughs> It's like Family Guy. They were making fun of Blockbuster because they don't carry porn. They were like lackluster video. <laughs> yeah, there was a there was a video store back in the day that always had the curtain. Yeah. My dad would always go into the curtain section, and I had no idea why. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, they have you know telephone booths back. You're like, you look at the cartoons. I'm going in here. Well, what's back there? I can't go. You can't go back there. They're they're for big people. That also reminds me. Uh, there was a rumor. Uh, I was reading about it. I don't know if it's true or not, but I guess supposedly Hugh Jackman took a pay cut to make the new Wolverine rated R. Well, by the looks of things, I, I'm kind of disappointed they're not doing the old man Logan storyline because I wanted to see some fucking hillbilly hulks. But yeah, that that's not going to cool. happen. That would have been cool as shit. Yeah, it's it's too unrealistic for the movie screen, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I'm just glad that they're starting to realize that there is a need for adult movies out there. Like, it's just, you know, people are still adults and they want to watch shit. Like, like, uh, Jason, he was telling me about this movie where this girl can't orgasm. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> and he was explaining to me, and it's a really fucked up movie. Like, she can't orgasm. So, like, and I guess she's married or something like that. And she tries to, I don't know, all these things. Just, like, she tries, like, smacking rollers on it and shit. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I forget what it's called, but I can't. <laughs> That's a new one on me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I guess there's a couple of them, but I can't remember. <laughs> I don't think I've heard of that one. No, I haven't either. Yeah, I have, but I just can't remember. <laughs> I know. All right, so I got one more story for the day. Okay. Oh, which one's grosser? Let's go with this one. Do you still, do you, can you pull up them pictures? Oh, that's case? right. You sent me stuff. I did. <laughs> Someone likes me. So uh, let me paint a picture for you. A pe- you're blind, right? And then uh, some old woman... Uh, apparently in in Bosnia has the ability to cure you. You'll never guess how she does it. How's that for clickbait? Insect right spray. No, <laughs> no, not this time. Uh, 80-year-old, uh, God, I'm going to butcher this name, Hava Celebic. Or Hava a Donut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nana Hava, as she's known locally, uh, can, can heal your blindness with her tongue. Oh, are you kidding me? You're going to want to stop that video. Another video? Yeah, see where it says cancel? There you go. Okay, bring it up so you can see the picture of this. Oh, my God, this is weird. But I sort of have a boner. Just joking. I think I would rather be blind. Yeah, it's a little weird, man. I, uh... The frail old woman uses her tongue to remove pieces of lead, iron, coal, sawdust, and glass from eyeballs after sterilizing her mouth with alcohol. Patients will raise their eyelid for Nana Hava to begin licking in search of a foreign body. Hava said, I learned this from a woman who is also called Hava. You ain't gonna Hava no blindness. (laughs) She She says, unfortunately, I cannot pass this to my descendants because my children are too disgusted to put their tongue on someone's eye. Yeah, she looks miserable. <laughs> She's I, like, hey, what do you do? Like, I could see her go to a, you know, class high school reunion, and they're like, what do you do? Oh, I like people's eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been told people will cut my tongue out when I die so the village can continue to treat people. <laughs> oh, my. She she claims to have cured over 5,000 people. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. He does healing, too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of those that modern medicine could not help. They came to me out of the hospital with swollen eyes. I cleaned them and removed the speck. Yep. I don't charge licking for those who are not employed and have no money, but my service fee normally costs around 10 euros. I yeah, so uh, the old woman there, she's she's pretty kind. She don't charge you if you can't afford to pay, which is nicer than most of uh, our our uh, medical systems here in the United States. Yeah, shit's fucked up here right now. What the... F- oh, these fucking clickbait bullshits. I was mm. like, why is that guy, you know, put his nose in, you know, a bird's butt? <laughs> it looks like bird poop. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, yeah, man, whatever. If you can, you know, make a living licking eyeballs, whatever. They they make a living eating buttholes, but whatever. You know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically... I wonder where she lives. Like, is there a... Bosnia. Oh, yeah, but what I'm saying is where she lives or whatever like that, is Bosnia have, like, a lot of, like, coal mines and stuff like that? I really don't know, to be honest with you. Because 5,000 people, that's a lot, like... Well, they, all sorts of people have traveled to come see her because she's able to cure blindness. Oh, uh, okay. Because I was going to say, like, does her town, like... Like, I feel bad for her. If I was rich, I'd be like, do you guys want some air fillers? <laughs> like, why does everyone have so much shit in their eyes? I don't like, know, but Jesus. <laughs> I know. Holy fuck, man. Hey, whatever. No, whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad. Whatever that, works for you. Yeah, I'm just glad that she's not spraying fucking insecticide in people's <laughs> faces. Like, that. that's okay. Whatever. It's a little weird. God damn it, devil. Be out. Yeah. But be if out. You, if you want to lick someone's eyeball, just yeah, that's good. Just don't spray fucking raid can, like, insects. Doom. In people. It was yeah, doom. doom. And, and when you're religious, pick something better than doom. <laughs> like, I don't know. All right, guys. I think that's about all the time we have for yes. today. Uh, I'm going to put a poll up on... Uh, Twitter at Hostile Opinions. Uh, I want you guys to vote on which guest we should bring back next. Whether you want to see Terry the Stoner. Whether you'd prefer <laughs> for us to have Mark Hammer, <laughs> or whether you'd prefer us to have. Would you be mine? My neighbor. Ask the neighbor. Won't you please? All right, so I'm going to put a poll up on Twitter here after the show airs. Uh, I want you guys to go to hostile, at Hostile Opinions and vote. Who would you like to see on the show next? And we'll get them back on here for you. Yes, or a homeless person. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Because I'll probably wake up and they'll like be mugging me. <laughs> also, uh, <laughs> uh Make sure you go, and uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that little thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. That means a lot to us. Uh, we see some new subscribers, so thank you. Make sure you share with your friends. We're glad to have you here. Yep. Uh, we Pretend do we're every- a vaginal disease to share. <laughs> we will make you love us. Yes. <laughs> we're here forever. <laughs> we're going to keep doing this, whether or not any of you fuckers watch us. Yes, indeed. Uh, so do that. Uh, if you're watching us on or listening to us on Google Play, iTunes, or Stitcher, be sure to rate us, even if you rate us badly. <laughs> that helps us out. Well, well, well. So, all right, everybody. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. And I'll still have my balls intact next week. So. <laughs> see you later, everyone. Have a good one. bye This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>